Hello everyone, I'm Tim. In this video you'll learn about the most effective holds in self-defense. I'll also talk about why I think it's the best and stay tuned because at the end of the video I've made a little compilation of some of the greatest MMA submissions using these holds. So, the best hold. What do you think is the best hold? Is the guillotine? For a guillotine, you put your arm around the back of the head of your opponent, then you bend your arm around it, you grab your hand, and then you pull upwards, making your arm close around the neck of your opponent, making him tap out. The wrist hold. Then you grab my wrist, I take over, go further. Grab the wrist, go over the upper arm, grab the hand, grab my own arm. I can grab my own wrist or my own elbow. Same result. Yeah, that depends on the situation. The arm bar? Put your foot in front of his, put your arm on top. His upper arm. You hold some strength between your upper arm and your upper body, throughout the wrist, and you switch, making his arm overstretched. So your opponent is in a T shape. Your opponent's body like this. You are like this. You make sure you grab his wrist. Put your one leg over his head. Other leg also over his body. Hold on. While I like these holds, I usually find them lacking something essential, namely universal applicability. To me, the great technique should be able to be pulled off in different situations. This is why straight and hooked punches are present in just about any martial art. Now, the hold I'm talking about is an arm triangle hold. This hold or at least the principle of the hold, can be found in many different holds, chokes, etc. There's this hold on the arm, which can be used to complement your high block. For the, the higher ones, the Jodan Tuki or Jodan Agni or whatever, you you grab trading a triangle like this. With your hand and a leg behind it, or you can switch to a different hold, whatever. You can block it left, left, one like this, or block it right, one like this, other arm like this, like this. Impossible sides. There's of course the rear naked choke, the most popular MMA hold according to some. They say it's impossible to get out of. There is even a possibility to use it as a toe hold, to twist the knee of the opponent. And the infamous Kimura hold also makes use of this arm triangle technique. Now the idea of the technique is as follows. You grab the body part you wish to disable with one arm and wrap your arm around it. Then use your other arm to strengthen the hold. You put your arm in the pit of the elbow of your other arm or grab your wrist. And depending on the hold, you straighten your arm or forcefully bend your elbows. Of course, I can talk a lot about why this hold works, but here's a great piece of Hollywood wisdom. It says, show, don't tell. So let's take a look.
There you go. In my opinion, the best submission hold. Do you agree? Which is your favorite? Comment below, let me know. Also, for more practical karate videos, click here. And if you're more into karate's history, click here. Now don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. Have a wonderful day, and as always, thanks for watching.